Sykes, the sooner the better. <laughs> no, but um, in your bath. Oh, really, Sykes? Haven't the builders finished in your bathroom yet? No, no, no. There'll be a couple of days yet. And you did say that any time we were inconvenienced, we could use your bath, and we do stoke the boilers, and we bring our own coal. And <laughs> all right, all right. But you're not to leave a rim round the bath. <laughs> we don't put coal in the bath. <laughs> Sykes, have you gone? Yeah, no, no, I, uh, Hattie wants one after me. <laughs> oh, really, Sykes? I'm going to have a bath myself tonight. Shall be like a couple of hours? Well, it'll be a jolly sight quicker than that. Yes, all right. Well, it'll be a quick swill then. Yes, I'll, I'll leave my legs till Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> He's hung up. I thought he was growling. Oh. I thought he was going to say no. <laughs> Why should he? It's a neighbour's duty, isn't it? And he's a good neighbour, and underneath it all is a nice chap, and we pay him ten bob each a week. <laughs> How have we got everything? Face towel, loofah, <laughs> battleship. <laughs> Cruiser, dreadnought. Ellen, you're going to take the whole of the Sixth Fleet? You have worked out a smashing battle plan. <laughs> Couldn't you do a sort of lone patrol? Hattie, what's the good of having a bath if you don't enjoy it? <laughs> now, just uh, go see the coast, clear. All right. right. Now then, dredger, battleship, soap, duck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a child.
Dreadnought. Look at that. Oh, that thing. Oh, yes. Now look. <coughs> Why don't you just go inside, have a nice warm bath, and leave all that stuff to the Admiralty? Eh? Leave it all to the Admiralty? Where would we be if we'd left it to the Admiralty? We're an island race. It's our heritage. We've got salt in our tang. <laughs> what are you have in your bath? Ducks, I'll bet. Now listen, sir, when I have a bath, I don't have one to muck about with toys. I have a bath because I need one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's crack as he is. Come on, I'll get him one of these days. I've got as much salt in my tang as he has in his. Well, it's absolutely sickening. He's been in there nearly an hour and a half and tries to be neighbourly and get the get together feeling. I was merely taking advantage of Absolutely sick of the whole business. I'm not going to put up with it much longer, I tell you that. Never forget, I'm a brown. <laughs> Mr. Brown, that's very dangerous. I've never fallen off the chair before. <laughs> Even if I am the last of my line. Mr. Brown, I don't really want a bath. You can have my turn. You can have my turn, queuing up for the bath. This place gets more like a workhouse every day. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's all my fault, really. If I hadn't trodden on Eric's battleship, the war at sea would have been over by now. <laughs> well, it's all so ridiculous. Every time I bang on the door, all I get is bosun's whistles, foghorns, and cries of man overboard. <laughs> grown man in his bath, imagine it. I'm not in the habit of imagining grown men in their... Wow! 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 
Mr. Brown. <laughs> Not again! Yes, my toe. <laughs> I'm sure it's stuck in the tower. I'm sitting here facing it. <laughs> and it's right there. Oh, look, I think all the water's getting cold. Oh, what's the more happy? It's stuck up the hot water tap. <laughs> oh, I'm asking to bring us back a hat. Oh, you know. <laughs> 
been up there for ages. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, oh, oh, there you are. Do you know you've been up there for nearly two hours? <coughs> Not that I care. You're going to have your bill sent into the Sykes's. I come out of there, Sykes. I want my bath. You won't get a bath tonight, mate. Why not? Because he's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you get him out? I can get him out, but it would mean leaving his toe up the tap. How <laughs> about you unscrew the tap? Ah, uh, some clot's been built in it. Ruined the thread. <laughs> I'll have to use oxy acetylene. You don't use oxy anything in my bathroom. I've just had the walls painted. <laughs> well, it'll have to be dismantled and returned to the manufacturers and let them do it. Typical. There you've got a perfectly simple little job, like getting some fool's toe out of a tap, and you want to have it sent back to the management. I've never heard such anything so idiotic in my life. Give me these two. Yeah. I'll have it out. I'll get a little, little thing like this beat me. <laughs> Thank you. 
better now. trousers on over this. <laughs> My sister liked the foot. Oh. What happened to you then? Got my toes stuck in the tap. That's just a silly thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> One born every minute, isn't it? <laughs> it was an accident. Accident? You should never have stuck your tap there in the first place. <laughs> Toffee? <laughs> Goodness, you've been kind. 
stuck here for four hours. <laughs> and Come and open the door. Oh, all right. <laughs> ah, don't do that. Remember the chap? Oh! There's only one key and you've got your hand on it. Well, Eric, you'll just have to get down the coal hole. I'm not going down the coal hole this time of night. Well, I can't go on two feet, you know. Hurry up, Sight. I'm losing all feeling in this hand. Oh, what about the door? Ding! Oh! Oh! Go <laughs> down the coal hole. It's not seemly for a man with a bad leg. He said this foot hasn't got to be used for three or four weeks' time. And then when he does, when he... When he... <laughs>
I'm only eating to keep my strength up. It'll do the ankle of power good, will that? You'll be up and about tomorrow. No, oh, Sykes, if only that were true. Oh, if you only knew how I hate lying in bed. You must hate Sundays. You never get up before tea time. <laughs> That's nothing to do with it. Oh. Well, haven't you got any sympathy for all the agony I'm going through? Oh, yes. Oh. Ow. <coughs> Well, sports views on now. I must be off. Right. <laughs> nice. Before I you go, I wonder if you'd be good enough to put another lump of coal on the fire. Yeah, certainly. <coughs> this is empty. Well, you know where the coal is. It's in the base. <coughs> oh, well, be careful of that. It's an antique. It was handed to my grandfather by the Duchess of Markham. She must have been a strong woman. <laughs> Miss Sykes, is that bread coming? Oh, thank you. Is he managing to eat anything, Eric? Managing? Just watch the plate, that's all. <laughs> Going at it there like an Irish fish boy. Good night. <laughs> He's got two more steps than we have. <laughs> you might have a little consideration for the patient upstairs. They fell. They fall quietly. <laughs> I've just done a hard day's work and I've got to go scratching about in the bowels of the earth for coal. Well, I think of that television set of ours lying fallow. <laughs> What is going on? Oh, it's all right, Mr. Brown. Eric fell down the set of steps. Typical. Always has to go one better than anybody else. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's just Eric Gray. He's always bumping over things at home. He always bounces back for more. I do say where there's no sense, there's no feeling. <laughs> now, now, Mr. Brown. Eric may not look very intelligent, but it... But what? How's your ankle? Red for... Oh! Another twinge. You know, we Browns are, are very plucky. Do you know, I had all my inoculations during the war without a wince. Oh, Mr. Brown. I just don't feel very Oh, Well, about time, too. I thought you'd gone down to the Rhonda Valley, boy. <laughs> That's all there was. <laughs> Are you sure you looked? I spent ten minutes down there trying to find another piece. <laughs> well, it's getting awfully chilly in here. I wonder, Sykes, would you mind lending me a bucket full out of your cellar? Couldn't you snuggle down in bed? Well, if you hadn't done that with the biscuits it's in, all in right, the first all place, right, I wouldn't... All right, all right. Now, don't use that, please. As I said, it's an antique. After all, your coal's not very... Well, I mean, I always have the best coal. Well, we haven't got a bucket. We bring ours up by the shovelful. I'm sure you'll find something in your house suitable for bringing up coal. Mr. Charles Brown, <coughs> supposing you did sue, how much would it cost us? Well, there'll be the legal fees. And All then right, I'll get the coal, I'll get the coal. <laughs> What's this going on? Hello, Cliff. How long is this going on? Do you know, two hours I've been home and not one glimmer of commercial. Oh, well, Eric, doesn't matter, dear. I've made a cup of tea. Sit down. I can't. I'm still on duty. I've got to get a cup of coal now. Some coal. And you know what? We haven't got a bucket. Oh, yes, we have. There's an old one in the cellar. Well, that's a relief. I was visualizing bringing it up piece by piece. Oh, oh shut up a minute. Yes. Oh, hello, Mr. Brown. Well, as a matter of fact, I've just made a cup of tea. M milk and sugar. I'll bring it straight round, Mr. Brown. Right. He's on his way. I thought slavery had been abolished. <laughs> oh, thank you. Milk, sugar, tea. Please let it be all right. <laughs> Oh, 
Never again. I'll tell you what. <laughs> out a few smalls. <laughs> this is the last thing. I'm not going to have any more. I'm going to put my... We're going to watch television and we're going to enjoy it. Tonight. What about the stair carpet, Eric? Tomorrow, Hat. We've done enough tonight. Running around like... Yes? Mr. Brown, now look here. Mr. He wants to read a book now. I'll get him one. Well, it's the last thing. I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell him straight. This should interest him. What is it? The rise and fall of a dictator. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Eric, be quick. This is your life just starting. That was quick, wasn't it? Uh, oh. Hello, Eamon. <laughs> Have you found a victim yet? He's read it. Oh, he's read it. Oh. <laughs> yes, it is a lovely morning, isn't it? I think I can manage two eggs this morning. It'll help me to get my strength back. By the way, has your brother come back with my newspapers yet? Well, he should have done. I phoned him at six o'clock this morning. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you. Thank you. Well, good night to you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Good night. We're finished for the night. Oh, thank goodness. What time is it? It's not yet three o'clock. Oh. <laughs> you have cleaned the stair carpets, have you? Oh, yes, well, it's just right. I mean, after all, you and your brother have been traipsing up and down rather a lot recently, haven't you? Well, if your brother's still there, will you tell him that my windows could do with a wash? He'll find a ladder in the tool house. In a fireplace, in a dreadful state. Oh, and by the way, while we're on the subject, what's he, is he any good with a paintbrush? Well, you know, the, the woodwork and things like that. Oh, yeah. What? I know he's got to go to work this morning, but he doesn't have to leave till 8.30, does he? <laughs> well, after all, I didn't last to lie here maimed. Why did he do that stupid thing with the biscuit box in the first place? What? Yes, two eggs. What? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm absolutely exhausted. I should have to get somebody to do my telephoning for me. <laughs> Again, home again. Bring it to Jake. Hat. Hattie! Yes, Mr. Brown. Yeah. Oh. It's all right, it's me, Hat. Me. Oh, Larry. What's the time? Time? Surely seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? He hasn't phoned for over an hour. His phone's out of order. No, no, it's my scheme. It's work. Has it? Yes. What do you do? What happened? Well, what you happened? see, I realized that all he wanted was company, so I fixed it. Mark, you're a wonder. I think what we'll do, we'll have supper like in the old days. Yes. And we'll sit and watch television. Oh! Eric. I think what I'll do. You put the chips on, I'll get the set warmed up. Uh, well, you, you see, Eric, the thing is... Yes? I've taken our television set into Mr. Brown. You've done what? Well... You've done what? It has kept him quiet, hasn't it? So what are we going to sit and look at while we eat? Oh, Eric, please! <laughs> are we civilised people or are we slaves to the telly? We're not slaves to the telly, but we've got to sit and look at a piece of brown oil cloth now. Oh, <laughs> of course we haven't. We could play cards. Cards? Yes, we'll play cards. All right, we'll play cards. Well, I think it's... Let's play, like, Chris. But I'd love to. We haven't played it for years. Now, let me... Oh, and let's play a hate for a hundred points. Oh, I locked the door. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Six each, well, we'll. Gonna be lucky, there's only eleven in all. <laughs> oh, I remember you gave the others to the church fate and people to throw darts at. That's that, isn't it? <laughs> Let's play darts. We use the dartboard to cut bread on. <laughs> well, we can still play darts. Well, what are we gonna throw at it? Bread knives? <laughs> Remember, we gave the darts away. We swapped them in the first place for the cards that we gave away the church faith for people to throw darts at. It, it doesn't matter. I've got a marvellous idea. Come round, sit down. Let's have a quiet evening listening to records. Oh, I'm sick of the road to Mandalay. <laughs> we don't have to play that. I'm sick of the other side, too. <laughs> Twenty questions? Yes. And the first object is animal. And it's lying up there in bed watching our television. <laughs> and the first question is, when's he going to get better and get out of it? Eric, how can you be so inconsiderate about the sick? 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 He's bluffing, that's what he is. It doesn't take four days for an ankle. Look at Uncle Arthur, he had a broken leg and he refused to go to bed. Oh, I'm not going to bed with a broken leg. <laughs> then he died. <laughs> Eric, I have seen Mr. Brown turn over in bed and he winced. Yeah, because the bed was full of breadcrumbs. <laughs> Cake crumbs. I know, I... I know. What's this do? I'm going to call his bluff. That's what I'm going to do. I'll just match a little ingenuity. Try and make a noise like a town hall. <laughs> hello, hello, Mr. Bryan. Yes, this is the town clerk speaking. 
Well, the mayor is having a little informal dinner party tonight. He's worshipful the mayor. And he wonders if you would like to sit on his right hand. <laughs> yeah. No, I know you've never met, but he has watched you. And uh, it will be nine o'clock, and could you be there at nine o'clock at the town hall for little... Oh. Oh, what a pity. Oh, I'm, I'm deadly sorry. Well, what did he say? Well, he said he couldn't get along tonight because he's in bed with a sprained ankle. <clears throat> well, I hope you're satisfied. You expect him just to get up and go, didn't you? Well, it was just a try on, wasn't it? It was just a bluff. Eric, when you're in bed with a sprained ankle, I hope people are just a little bit more considerate to you. He's lying up there wallowing in it now. Wells Fargo. <laughs> Mr. Brown! Oh. I'm afraid I have to go out. So soon? Well, I've been invited out to dinner. Oh, but your poor ankle! Well, I thought... Oh, yes. But I thought the time had come, you know, to give it a little bit of exercise. Yeah, but the way you were going on this morning, I thought you were stuck there for the winter. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no, but he can go out, can't he, to have dinner with the mayor? Well, as oh. a matter of fact, the mayor asked me specially, made it a personal invitation. How did you know I was going out to dinner with the mayor? Just a shot in the dark. <laughs> Mr. Brown, we must be honest. No, we must be. It was Eric who telephoned. What? Yes, ah, yes, well, no, I'll tell you what. Happy and I had a little medical chat. And we decided the best thing for you was a shot to your system. Otherwise, you could have lain there and your legs would have gone useless. Tight, this is outrageous. Some tribesmen lie down and they never get up. I'm not a tribesman. <laughs> Now, just through your inconsiderate piece of foolery, I suppose I'd have to do without my dinner now. Oh, well, all I can say is you'd better start preparing one for me straight away. Good night. Oh, Mr... Mr. Brown. What is it? Your stick. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Mr. Brown, would you like Eric to carry you? Huh? <laughs> no, thank you. I can manage. You won't forget the food, will you? No, do you fancy anything in particular? No, no, just anything you've got in the house. Chicken? Chicken? <laughs> no, anyway, I shouldn't bother. No, I think I'll just have a steak. Medium rare, carefully cooked, and a few chipolata sausages. <laughs> you should be in pantomime. Eric! Oh, I did a mistake. Medium rare. <laughs> a few chipolata sausages. <laughs> He'll have egg and scrape and like it. <laughs> You just have no consideration for the sick at all. Think of that poor man up there fending for himself. Oh, he fended for himself when he thought he was having dinner with the mayor, didn't he? Oh, yes. And when I think of him now wallowing in our television. Now, Eric, what did we say? We're not slaves to the telly. No, you're quite right. My eyes are clearer tonight than they've ever been. I'm glad I'm missing Dancing Club. Dancing Club? It's on now. But I could never sleep after seeing it. I could never sleep. My feet were going in bed. Chassis, promenade to the left, I was on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and all that formation done. Do 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 da 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 dum dum da dum da dum. I'm going for a walk. What? Yes, a walk. A walk. You know why? Because I want to get some fresh air into my lungs. Fresh air. You're going for a walk. For a walk. Yes, I know. I, I, my legs before the other and the arms swinging, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> a walk! A walk, hat. He never goes for a walk. Even when we had the doggies out of the door with a ten-foot lead. <laughs> Mr. Brown, is Eric with you by any chance? No, I, I just thought he might be because the television dancing club was on. Pardon? Oh, the steak. Yes, I'll bring it round straight away. Thanks. He must have gone for a walk. He can't have. <laughs> Dog.
said Rupert, smiling. <laughs> yes, said Helen. And her lips were moist. Her lips were what? Moist. <laughs> what were her lips moist with? Well, I don't know, Eric. Had she just had a drink or something? Well, you didn't say that, did you? Oh. <laughs> Get to the wolf bit. <laughs> I hope it isn't too strong for you. Oh, I'll try and moisten my lips a bit. Thank you so much, Mr. Brown. Eric's had quite a comfortable afternoon. Oh. I still don't see why you had to be cleaning my windows at that time of night. <laughs> well, uh, we had to get through the work, you see. Yes. Sykes, about these damages that you were... Oh, they're likely. They're going to be considerable, you know. Oh, dear. I hope you're solvent. Oh! Well, I still don't see that I'm responsible. Well, according to our solicitor, he says it was on your premises, your faulty ladder, no safety precautions. Oh, dear. Yes, but the point he is... He said it could mean imprisonment. Imprisonment? Oh, well, it might not be that bad, Mr. Brown. It all depends on whether Eric presses charges. Yes, it's up to me. I... Oh. I suppose it's up to me. Well, I can only hope when it does happen, Sykes, you'll remember all that I've done for you. Can I warm that tea up for you? Yes, would you, little... Um, yes, and I'd like a little chicken to pick at. Yes, just a minute. I've got a pad here. Uh, yes, chicken. And put some coal on the fire, will you? Coal? Yes. It's not ours, it's yours. It's uh, better quality. All right. <laughs> Let's see if that book's free from the library. I'll go down there straight away. Well, go chop, on. chop. All right. Ah, don't let it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gone, Eric. Has he gone? upside down, put him in a watertight box in a tent. Marvellous. Died of a broken heart. Did he? Yeah, he got his head stuck in the bed rails. <laughs> well, that shouldn't have broken his heart. Yeah, that didn't. It was having to send for the fire brigade to get him out. <laughs> That's what did him. Look, this must have belonged to him, Eric. Look, it's got EG inside. That's right. That's his. <laughs> Do you remember he always used to wear this? All the... Oh, right, mind you, he's a bit of a bigot. If it's you. <laughs> What meant was, he used to wear this, he used to go out to dinner in this at night. Well, in those days, people often used to go out to dinner in top hats. But he used to eat at Tom's Cafe. <laughs> Do you remember that dirty little place? Oh, I'll tell you that story. 
Yeah? Oh, right at the top hat store. <gasps> he took me out to Tom. I was only a little lad. He took me out there. He goes, like that. He goes into Tom's cafe. He says, a table for two, he says. Of course, you know, Tom, great star. He said, well, I can't tell you what he said. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> Uncle didn't go. And we sat there, and he says, oh, well, there's some peacock stuns and a scanty's leg and a feather on the foot. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's cat. Yeah. Anyway, we finished up with egg and chips. <laughs> oh, you are just showing off. He frightened me. Just like, and he sat there, there's a great big lorry driver here, and he turns around, he says, must make a change from dining at your club, what? Of course, Uncle turns around, he says, I don't think we've been introduced, he said. I thought, hello, this is it, a bunch of, oh, I tried, you know, I <laughs> The big lord said, haven't we been introduced? And he got this top hat, I remember it to this day, and he filled it full of rice pudding. And he went, thumb on Uncle's head. He said, well, we have now, have we? <laughs> <laughs> what did Uncle Edward say? Give him his due. He was cool as a cucumber. He turned around and he said, my bill, please, and I'm not paying for the rice pudding. <laughs> I can still hear the laughter as we went out. <laughs> oh, I'm a little left. And the minute... cheeky <laughs> Hello, what's that? I'm glad which photograph's fallen off the wall. The promise. <laughs> Promise? What promise? What are you talking about? The promise. I mean, crikey, do you remember that story I just told you? Mm. When I got out of that cafe, he got out of me like this. He said, if you ever tell any of our buddy about this rice pudding, I'll get you, he said. Oh, well. <laughs> he can't get you now. He's dead. Yeah, that's right. Listen, I've just thought of something. What? He never took that hat off from that day. Do you know why? I've just thought of it. That rice pudding had congealed. Stuck his hat on his head like cement. <laughs> oh, he could have warmed it up. He was sitting in the oven for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> now he was doomed to walk the streets with his arm. Well, he could have gone to a doctor and had a minor operation. Don't you see, that would have ruined his career. Eduardo, the greatest escapologist in the world, couldn't get out of the top hat. <laughs> it may be that I duck paint the race pretty. <laughs> oh, Eric, don't. What's the matter? Well, if he made you promise not to tell anyone that story, I don't think you should have done. He, he could still get you, you know. Well, well the, the promise has invalidated itself now, hasn't it? On, on his death, I mean, exonerated. Well, he could come back and haunt us. Haunt us? All right, so he'd haunt me, wouldn't he, not you? Yeah, but if he's haunting you, I'd see him, wouldn't I? All those chains and things. Chains? <laughs> Don't tell me he's still doing the act up there. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, he was a funny bloke, wasn't he? Oh, he was most peculiar. He was always seeing things that weren't there. Yeah, yeah, but that was only after the temperance meetings, wasn't it? <laughs> right, you look, come on, look, what were you getting worried about? And I get this stuff out of here. Getting worried about nothing. Oh, things, seeing things, clanking chains. Oh. <laughs> now, what's happened? Where's he manifested? I, I had chains. Yeah, so did I. I well, well, that's mainly because I've got them. <laughs> now, now, don't panic. Now, go on. Go on the kitchen. <laughs> now, stop all this panicking. Clanking chains, load of nonsense. There's no such thing. A load of rubbish, and we're just going to get rid of it all. What? <laughs> Look at this stuff, in it? Look at that, it's a conch shell. <laughs> hey, no, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey, for the moment, you got the key. You're not haunting us, I'll tell you that. We are going to be haunted, we're going to be haunted in the light. Ah, ha, ha. There are no such things as ghosts. Oh, don't you give me that... Oh! <laughs> Eric! <laughs> Eric! There's a body in the trunk! <laughs> That's me. Eric! <laughs> Are you dead? I just fell in the trunk. That's all. There was nothing else to do. Oh! What's that? Now, what's what? Now, what's what? What's that on your wrist? Well, that's a perfectly normal pair of handcuffs. Oh. How are you going to get it off? I'm going to get it off by the key, that's all. That's oh. a click, click, and I'm free. Now, don't panic. Eric, how did 
did he eventually get it off? Get what off? In the top hat. I don't know. Probably went to a head shrinker. <laughs> well, nobody's going to get stuck in it in I this house. I'm going to burn it. You're not going to burn this. This is perfectly good for weddings. <laughs> and funerals. Oh, Eric, I've got the most uncanny feeling that he's, he's just floating around somewhere, just is waiting for somebody to get stuck into it. Can you get his own back? Yes. That's ridiculous. Now, that's ridiculous. If I want to take this out, if I want to... If I want to... Oh, for the moment. <laughs> now, you're just making a mystery out of something that's not a mystery. Now, calm down. Look, have it. Now, sit down. There's no occult mystery. Sit down. Has it gone colder? I definitely felt as if somebody had walked over my... I just definitely felt as... No, it's my imagination. Now you've got me worried. Look, relax. Relax. Sit down. Now, it definitely has gone colder. I felt a definite gesture as if somebody was trying to get across. Oh, it came across in a waft. Well, there's your manifestation. There's your manifestation. Now, come here. There are no such things as ghosts. This is the 19th century. Ghosts went out with Dickens nearly 70 years ago. So look, you've got to do what I do. I say, there are no such things as ghosts. Oh, but you know what a liar you are. <laughs> hey! Uh, what, what, now what? I can feel him in his room! Yes. No, that's me, no, that's me. Is, this, is that the way Well, that's me, that's fine. Look, now don't... Uh, come on, get this stuff off. Get this rubbish. It is ordinary rubbish. There's nothing off about it. Go on. Are you coming with me? So you're only going to the kitchen, aren't you? Crikey, I'll be here, won't I? On my own? On my own? Hat him! <laughs> Just wanted to know you've got to. It's only natural for a brother to want to know where his sister's got to when she goes out with a load of rubbish. <laughs> What a good idea. Let's leave the rest of all that stuff over there tonight, because we have burnt a lot of it. That's a good we? idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> we don't want to burst our boilers. No. So, and we'll, we'll, we'll clear it out tomorrow. Yes. In the daylight, with, with the police yes. present. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sit in and watch television tonight. Have a good old... Oh, crikey. Hibson's Ghosts. <laughs> no, I'm not watching that. Watch it won't be very long, Eric. I'm just going out. Stop it. Where are you going? To the ladies' guild. Yeah, well, I'm coming with you. Oh, but you can't. You're not allowed. It's the ladies' guild. I mean, we, we might be talking about underwear. <laughs> I'll join in. No. That's... No, Eric. Oh, oh, I've got something here on my own. That's a sir. Oh, well, you're, you're not afraid of ghosts, are you? Of course I'm not afraid of ghosts. No. It's just that... I, I hope it'll be about an hour, Eric. Wait, wait, wait. Where you go? Look at your wrist. What? And by George, look over there, that manifestation. Over oh, there. Right now. There. <laughs> now, you have to take me with you, don't you? Eric, take these handcuffs off, please. No, either you go with me here or we stay outside together and together. Give me the key. Now, look, I'm not afraid of ghosts. Don't think that. I'm not a child. It's just that I'm not staying here alone at night in this house with him in the dark. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll go to the pictures together. Promise? Yes. Yeah, but one of your promises, not no, one of mine. I promise. I a promise. promise pro right, yes. boy. We've got the local. There's a good one on there. Oh, not the local, Eric. There's such old films there. Old films? Rubbish. You enjoyed Shirley Temple last week, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> right. What are you looking for, dear? The key. I put it down here. With the rubbish? With that rubbish. I put it in the boiler. In front of the boiler. I bet our freedom in that boiler. Oh, Eric, this Give is me. all your fault. You know that, don't you? You shouldn't have told me the story. You promised Uncle Edward he'd let him come back and get Look me again. You... Present it to the great Eduardo. This is it. This is it. He's done it. We're doomed. We're doomed to walk the street. We're... Now, just a minute. Now, pull yourself together. There are policemen to release us. There's a phone. Oh, get to the phone. He hit the phone, oh, man. <laughs> well, he didn't visualise that we'd have a phone. Tell them. Please, please. Oh, uh, hello. You don't know me, but... Uh, I wonder if you could possibly spare a policeman. No, I'm not lonely. No, it's, it's just that my brother and I are handcuffed 
together, you see, and I put the key in the boiler. <laughs> Get it out of the boiler. <laughs> it's a fine thing. It'll be days before that thing cools off. They can pick that thing up. You've got to use subterfuge with these policemen. Look, what, what's, what's this low fuse in now, right? We want policemen here? Come on. Hello, police. Yes, this is 24 Sebastopol Terrace. 24. You've got that? Good. Well, I'd like to report... The This place will be swarming with policemen. Uh, let's go and put the kettle on. It's a long three minutes. Well, crikey, they can't be bothered with murders and things. What with the traffic problem we have? Do you know what the congestion is like in the West End? <laughs> Look, Patty, I'll tell you what we'll do. As soon as we've eaten, I'll take you down to the police station, OK? All right, then. Right, then. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, that's a snag. There's a snag here. Just a minute. Sit here. Right? <clears throat> oh, God. At that end of the table, I could eat my dinner. Yeah, I know. Well, we're not finished. We'll go without. It's just as long as long, isn't it? Come here. Get that plate. Get that plate. Get that plate. Put it there. Mm -hmm. There we are. Okay. Yeah, it's nice and cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want salt? <laughs> person, yes. right? Just got one pair of hands. Go on. Right, come on now. Hmm? There we are. Good. station right now and we'll have a meal at Tom's Cafe on the way home. Yes, all right. Okay. I will never get through that. I could have been sitting there for hours starving. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, just a minute. There's another snag here now. Come on, come on. Now then, if, if you... Uh, come here.
one? Well, um, I, I got a bit of cramp, officer. Well, have it sitting down, will you? <laughs> Thank you. Help me! Any more help? <laughs> I see. What for? Well, we don't know that we get her down there. Yes. Here. What? Get off. Well, no, but you didn't understand. Oh! Oh, I can't. I'll tell you what she does. She puts bombs on buses. Bombs! <laughs> Anything? 
It's gone. It's gone. Well, I didn't understand it. They were on in the bedroom. They were on in the bedroom. Oh, uh, we're free. Oh, oh look, there they are. Must have been when we sent you first. That's right. Now be careful. Oh, no. Do you know what these are? These are tricks. When you press that or somewhere, they open. Oh, well, you're a great old fraud. <laughs> well, you charlatan. Eric, don't mock. I'm not mocking. It's, it's funny to see you standing over there. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, I'll go and get some breakfast. Yeah, get some get it. food. We'll have some food. Look, we're getting rid of all that rubbish. We'll give that to somebody we don't yes. like. Oh, right, we're not going to get trapped with him again, oh, okay? No. Right, just oh. get rid of some... I oh. hope you're... <laughs>